Uh, greeting Sagittarius and welcome. So good to see you and uh, my name is Ingrid for you, those who are new to my channel and welcome all of you to Ingrid's Insights where I hope you will get an insight from this reading. And let's dive right in to the reading for the Buck Full Moon. This is the Blue Moon, the second full moon um, in Capricorn in July. And let's see what the cards have for my Sagittarius, that's the theme of the reading. Well, we're coming into this beautiful image. Take a moment uh, to look at this image of the 26 could be an important number. Two and six, eight, that's a number of moving forward, manifestation. Um, this life is like the fulcrum on a scale of balance. Your past and future lives determine the need for gathering strength in this life. Become one with all life and consider the true importance of what you are gathering. So as you come into the full moon, you will be gathering. Maybe you will be having a gathering or gathering your thoughts or gathering up your uh, personal items, but you're gathering something together. And uh, that is coming in for you. And we're going to dive in and see what the cards have for a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. You're coming in with the lovers. This could involve a Gemini. You're coming in uh, because there is an important partnership that is coming up right now that you're gathering into. You're gathering pieces of this commitment, this coming together, this joining. You could be gathering up parts of yourself, your inner masculine and feminine, and coming together and feeling this uh, excitement of this union in within yourself and with others, and that's what you're going to gather. And what is uh, challenging this is the um, Ace of Cups. Well, maybe even what helps is this inner love, this new love, this divine love. Um, something you love very much, a new love coming for you, this partnership, you have a new love coming in. Um, and it's going to make you very happy, very fulfilled. And it's coming because at the foundation you always knew uh, that uh, this is Virgo energy, uh, that, that, that you took time to introspect, to go inward, to get self-knowledge about this partnership and you made the right choice. And it's bringing you at this moment under the full moon a lot of happiness a sense of satisfaction of just feeling great in life just this love flowing through you and um, the queen of cups well there's there's that cup you've been nurturing that in the recent past nurturing this love uh, because you've used your wisdom to know how to love uh, to bring new love to this partnership and to be very tender and use your intuitive nature and your gentleness, your kindness, your sympathy uh, to um, take a leap of faith. You may have taken on a whole new adventure. You could be with a partnership and you have felt this new love um, and move forward uh, by going inward and getting all of the information you need at the very core of your identity. Um, and you finding that love within you. So you can take this whole new adventure. You're stepping out on a whole new phase of life with trust, with faith, with confidence, uh, with adventure. And that is what you're ready to see now. This is an adventure. This is a whole new spiritual journey. And it's coming because of the King of Wands. You have a lot of um, a passion, confidence, leadership toward this entrepreneurial idea that is going to be fulfilled under the full moon tonight. Uh, as it's coming tonight to tomorrow night is the fullness. Um, and you're going to have the confidence to take a leadership toward this partnership, toward this love, and you're doing it by uh, going on an adventure, stepping out, out with the old and in with the new, a beginner's mind. Because you've stood your ground for this partnership. You believed in it all along. You climbed up to the top, and you've seen um, how valiant you have been for this love. It's worth it. You know it. You've studied it. You've understood it. And you're going to uh, stand up and believe in it and keep on going because the influences of the sun, well, your environment is bringing you this clarity, this optimism, this happiness. And this, you see this um, couple here is also the couple here. So there is a marriage. 
a new status in your love and it's healed it's renewed this is the brightest card in your in the deck it's saying that happiness is coming from uh, someone around you this lover this partnership and you're going to take a new leap toward that because the hope and fear is the ace of pentacles that you will be um taking this new opportunity all the way to fruition you're taking this leap of faith toward uh, this union you might feel like wow this partnership this marriage that i love so much and i know it's going to work because i have this deep introspection and understanding of love how to love uh, and to start over in this new way with this new idea passionately but also you're standing up for the clarity and the happiness and the healing and the wealth that's going to come because of the a king of pentacles this could be a, a capricorn energy um, uh, so it is with uh, this um, full moon uh, coming with capricorn so you could be connecting to your own powerful um, ability to manifest to make money because you've got the ace and the king you've gone from the first card of the suit to the last so this is a very powerful reading, a Sagittarius, and you're uh, moving into gathering because you're gathering up a lot of wealth. And you're going to uh, become one with all of life. And that's what the sun does. It shines um, growth and clarity and optimism on all of life. And consider the true importance of what you're gathering. Oh, because you are gathering a lot of wealth, so consider that. What that is bringing you, what opportunities are coming. And that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. And uh, thank you so much for uh, supporting my channel with your uh, subscribing, giving me a thumbs up. And I love your comments. Tell me how you are uh, manifesting this incredible partnership and taking a leap of faith to uh, boss up and become the uh, authority over your own wealth and nurture that. And with a lot of optimism and healing and success. And so it is. See you next time. Bye-bye.